Blood flow restriction is extremely useful for the post-operative and recently injured patient as well. A lot of times after a surgery or recently after an injury, we'll see a lot of muscle loss and weakness develop because of disuse. With blood flow restriction, we can start activating muscles and challenging them in a way that doesn't obstruct healing of the healing tissues so that we can get maximal strength gains early on in rehabilitation. We can continue using these methods as someone becomes more functional the further they get out from injury or surgery. So initially we might put blood flow restriction on someone just having them lift their leg or their arm and activate muscles. As they get more advanced, we can have them keep the blood flow restriction bands on and do functional athletic activities like pushing a sled, doing kettlebell swings, squatting. For some patients that might be putting the bands on doing some walking, going up and down stairs. All of these are extremely functional activities and we can maximize strength gains by using blood flow restriction.